Hello, it's Sarah. So let's see, my Serenity Crafts. And today, I want to make some stick pins. But before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about beads. Um, I've been into beads for a long time. Uh, and then I put them away. And I got into scrapbooking and like did other things. But recently, I joined a swap at um, artandsassy.ning.com. Uh, it was my first one ever, and it was with Kara, and we did bead dangles. And I just sent them in, the ones I made, three sets of three. Um, but they also have a stick pin swap going on, so I think I'm going to join that too. It's a floral theme, I think. Uh, flowers, and I don't know. So I'm going to see what I have and see what I can come up with. But uh, I just thought I'd show you some of the beads. I really was into glass beads for the most part. Um... I went to a bead fest one time and I was just like hyperventilating. I, I, you know, I couldn't take it. So, um, I've gotten a lot over the years and had a lot in my stash, but, uh, you know, like this is a, a hand blown glass bead. You know, I just made a dangle out of it. And then these, probably I just got these beads at Michael's. This is furnace glass. These are, um, David Christensen. All furnace glass is not the same. His are so clear and beautiful. Um, so these were just some of the extra dangles I made when I was making them for the swap. Um, so I had them. And then I also recently, I had made dragonflies and things like that before. But I just noticed that Michael's, they, were, they sold some dragonfly wings. So I made a couple little ones which are really cute. This was, uh, I had this from before. This is like a pendant that I made. Oh my gosh. So this is furnace glass body. And, uh, but there's, I love angels. So I made a bunch of angels. Um, this is just my little holder for them. So I wanted to show you too. I have keychains. I made book thongs and Stick pins was something I never made. I never knew about them. And then jewelry, like this is a watch I made years ago. I don't, it doesn't even work, but I just put it on for this video to show you. And I usually used to string my beads with a wire and then use crimp beads. Let me see if I'm on camera. And then use crimp beads to uh, attach them and everything. Um, so this is more furnace glass with an angel. These are keychains, and I, I've sold these at craft shows before. Um, some of the findings I, I've just gotten at Michael's, so they're not real, real expensive. I think the glass beads are more expensive than the than the findings. This is like, these. this bead probably was $4, just this bead itself. And that, I got that at a bead show. So, I mean, you can get a little crazy. It's, you know... It's pretty, pretty addictive. Like the beads are so beautiful. Like these, I think were just Michael's beads, but I thought when I cut off the little, or I took the charm off, but I usually put a charm on the bottom. Oh, I, I know one thing I can show you. And this is actually sterling silver. So it's, uh, it needs to be cleaned, but she's, uh, I guess like P queen P P in a pot or the queen. I forget, but if I clean her up, she's really cool. But this is a handmade bead, and I bought this at a show. I think it was like 60 bucks. Like, I'm crazy. But you just fall in love with them. You just, the craftsmanship is just gorgeous. I mean, this woman hand blows these beads and makes these little faces and her little eyes. And I have another one. I think it's upstairs. Like, I'm crazy. Um, then, like, on the, my bag that I hold my tools in, I just put, like, a zipper pull. Oops, can you see the on the end of this one and there's like a little birdie I just put colors to match the bag so I put a, a crystal flower on the bottom and the little birdie so cute and so I've had this for forever and it's just hanging on there um, you know so anyway so today I'm gonna um, just I wanted to show one thing too about uh, I had a video I just put up the other day about how I altered this uh, charm with my Copics. So in in that same same way, you can also alter, and I'm sure you know this if you've um, done altered things and scrapbooking and stuff, 
your pearls and even, you know, beads and things like that on your stick pins. But for today, this little piece, the little um, stick pin I want to make right now is kind of green. And I have this green butterfly that I want to... I've been watching lots of YouTube videos about stick pins and um, there's people are putting charms on them and I don't know how they've attached them because I went looking for like a, uh, a spacer with a little hook to attach charms and I, I didn't find them. Um, but anyway, I, I forgot to show you. These are just some stick pins that I made the other day and I use uh, glossy accents to... Uh, to adhere them. That's what everyone suggests because it really dries clear. And I mean, these are pretty, pretty tight. These are strong because um, I guess some people have used uh, hot glue and you can see hot glue and it's, you know, I guess you get the quick result. But what I did was bought, um, and I again got this from a YouTube video. I bought this just piece of foam for doing, um, I guess arrangements, flat floral arrangements. And so once you've got it all glued, you just stick it, you push it down into the foam, into the uh, foam until it dries. So it'll hold it in place. And that's what I did. And then I just left them overnight. And when I came down the next morning, they were all nice and dry. I think, I don't think anyone, one of them might've messed up and that was it. I think the, uh, the little bead on the bottom, I think it was this one, no, this one right here. The little I lost a bead on the bottom somehow. See, there's no bead. Usually I put a little round silver bead on the bottom. See, this one I changed this pearl to, to purple. These are all white. I, I could only find one. My Joann's was the only place I could find that had these corsage pins. Um, these are probably two inches. Let me see. Three. Three inches. And I like that length because you have more room to work and um, you can see these yeah um, so anyway let me just go ahead and make the one I'm gonna make today yeah a few of these like I changed I altered the color of the pearl because they were all white like this one I did black pink purple did this one red so I, I just thought it matched better I didn't have any real white in the in the design so I thought well, red will look better. So I did that red and then the black ones when I was doing the black angels. Like this one I left white, but then I threw a white bead down here to kind of pull it together. So what else? But for right, oh, this one I did black too. Now I, I could have made that gold and it might have looked pretty too, you know? So um, I love it. I love that you can use your Copics and alter things to what we need because you can't always find what you need so all right for right now I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this pearl green so you just take your Copic and gently brush it over the pearl and there you have it it's awesome and it stays shiny it's a little bit wet right now so I probably shouldn't touch it but I'm gonna go ahead and oops go ahead and make this. So the first one I want to do is this little cap kind of makes it look like a flower since it is a floral it's a floral themed stick pin and then what I'm gonna do with this green butterfly it's just attached to this tiny piece of chain I'm just gonna thread that chain onto the pin and then go ahead and put my next piece this flower spacer I love these I got this at Michaels so I think that'll work 